to show Victoria water pipe fittings. Part 20. Accurately positioning all parts of the Stuart Victoria steam plant on the bench. This will allow me to accurately fit the components on the mahogany baseboard and show me what size it will need to be. Normally I make these videos during the day regarding the content of what you see and then each morning I edit them. But yesterday morning was very difficult as my three-year-old granddaughter was in surgery and I was in constant contact with my daughter. She's okay, she had her adenoids and tonsils out because she suffers from sleep apnea. Even though it's a relatively minor operation, it's not if you're only three years old. And I wasn't in a fit state to do any voiceovers yesterday. But today's another day and here I have all the parts positioned on the bench and I'm measuring the size for a baseboard. I think I've found the best position for the components to make this large steam plant as small as possible. I'm going to be doing this with each of the steam plants and writing down the resultant sizes on a piece of paper. Here's a piece of paper and the first size to be written down is the size of baseboard that I require for the Stuart Victoria plant. At this point I would just like to say I measured it twice using the rule measure twice, cut once. It's vital that I get the board to be the right size. When I look through mahogany baseboard suppliers there aren't any of this size, 54 centimetres by 34 centimetres. Sorry about the handwriting, I was doing it resting on the edge of the bench. I decided to make some minute adjustments to the positions of the parts, but this didn't affect the size of the baseboard required. Underneath this engine is quite a large lump of brass that supports the pedestal and secures it to the main wooden block that the engine sits on. I'm not going to use this. I'll copy the mounting hole positions from the original baseboard. I'm still moving the position of the engine slightly until I get it just where I want it to be. This is a really clever aluminium bucket that has a bayonet fixing so it can be removed and refitted after emptying because this bucket catches the condensate from the cylinder drain pipes. It's currently got quite a lot of old steam oil and dirt in there so here I'm cleaning it out. And here is a very clever bayonet fitting that I'm putting inside the bucket so I don't lose it. It didn't really make that noise, I slowed down the video and the audio as well. Here's a different angle shot of the Victoria and you can see two 501 boilers in the background and part of the 10H. It's working out fine, with the bucket positioned underneath the water tank it looks quite good. All the piping is going to be very neat and most of the water pump piping will be behind the engine so you won't see it. At this stage of the proceedings I decided to fit the burners to the newly painted bases. As I don't need to say much more in this video, the rest of it will be the Stuart Victoria running at various speeds. I'd just like to say stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.
please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.